Hi, I'm Jamie Stegmeyer, and I'm here for, for uh, Stonemeyer Games to talk about our new game, Scythe. Uh, Scythe is uh, my game design, but really the inspiration for the game, the art and the world building, come from a Polish artist named Jacob Rolzowski. Uh, Jacob couldn't make it to Gen Con this year. He's in Poland working hard on getting the art finished for this game. Uh, but Jacob started designing the art for this game over a year ago, which is roughly around when I discovered his work on Kotaku. And he had started to build this, this world through his art. And we started talking about building a game in the world and expanding it to a number of different factions. Jacob uh, works completely digitally. I'm holding up some encounter cards right here. I don't know if you can get them in the frame here. But Jacob has this beautiful, really, style of art that combines everyday life in this alternate history 1920s period with uh, mechs and strange creatures and things that you wouldn't normally see uh, in real life. But Jacob kind of brings uh, a light and levity to them that makes them accessible. It's not a really dark game. Uh, Jacob's art will be throughout the game. So you can kind of see it on the board here with my prototype graphic design. He'll have unique art on all the encounter cards. He'll have unique art on all the factory cards. And he'll have unique art, these don't have any art yet, on these, uh, these objective cards. So Jacob's art is going to be fully enriching every aspect of this game. Um, and I'm, I'm, he's working on it right now and I'm really excited to see the final product when he is finished with all the art. Every faction inside has a different mech. These mechs are prototype 3D printed mechs from Shapeways. Um, the final mechs are going to be molded at, uh, at our partner Panda Game Manufacturing in China. But each one has all these unique details that Jacob and his team of sculptors in Poland helped design. This is the Crimean mech, the Rusviet mech, the Polish mech, the Saxon mech, and the Viking or the Nordic Viking mech. Yeah, so each faction has a few asymmetric abilities. Some are tied to the mech, some are just tied to the faction in general. The Nordic faction, um, they have the, because they have this Viking-inspired mech, they can go on water, they can go on lakes on the board. The Saxon mech has these tanks that kind of, uh, they, they can move from any part of the board through a tunnel. So they can kind of tunnel up through any part of the board and they can block tunnels from other players moving out through tunnels. So they can, they're a little bit more defensive. The Polish mechs, um, they also have kind of a submarine ability where they can go on the lakes and they can submerge under a lake and come up on another, another part of the board. Um, each mech also has a special like fighting ability. Uh, like the, the Rusviet mechs, the Rusviet faction is very aggressive, so they have no limit to the number of combat victories that they can earn stars from. And they can also tunnel with these big claws they have in the front. And the Crimeans, the Crimeans are more about like entertaining people, but they also, the Crimean, you, you can't really see it here very well because it got cut off. The Crimean character has a bird as their animal. They can scout out other factions before battle. So they can kind of, right before you start a battle with a Crimean faction, they'll draw a combat card because they've kind of scouted out what the other faction is doing. 